So we have got this nerves curve here. We will be using this nerves curve to generate a geometry with the revolve tool. So go to surfaces, revolve option. Uh, this tool, uh, this curve uh, uh, generates geometry in y axis rotation. So if you could see uh, this one. So when this curve rotates along the y axis, it sweeps a geometry along it. So I need to say which axis uh, do I get this model. So I'm picking this y axis and uh, in output geometry I would pick polygons as my result. Uh, the geometry type would be quads tessellation method general u type per span number of isoperms i would prefer to go with uh, yeah one per span number of isoperms one and i'll create so what you see is the bottle And uh, this particular bottle has got axis 8 subdivisions, if you see in the revolve. So 8, so I'll be increasing that to 16. I want uh, low poly, but not uh, very low. So this is quite a decent model. Spacing, yeah, looks good. It's great. When I apply my smooth, whether is it working fine or not, yeah. You could uh, generally check by assigning a shader and just see whether all contours are maintained properly or not. If not, you could edit that at any time. So I'll be using insert edge loop tool here just to get that corner preserved and uh, I want here as well and I want one here. I want this line to be a little bit closer. And this one a little bit closer. Yeah, that's cool. Fine. Now about uh, the cock part, I'll just take a simple cylinder. The subdivisions what I've used uh, in the revolve that is 16. The same number of subdivisions I'll be using here as well. And caps, sorry, height subdivisions I'll be adding some 3, 5. Yeah, 5 would be okay because I just want that to be nice square. And height, yes, uh, we'll try to match with this. I select this line and apply bevel.
I'm moving this pivot point a little bit down here with the point snap and then I'll be using mirror geometry tool in negative y side to get some extension there. The reason is uh, whatever uh, I've done here I just want on the bottom side as well. I select this uh, bottom part and I just scale it just to get that nice tapered effect. That's cool. I'll assign a sh uh, shader just uh, to give that sense of cork material wise so that looks somewhat completed so firstly uh, I would like to work on uh, what you say the model and then I'll do UVs then I'll do the texturing part so uh, there is um, I could see the model looks okay for me right now I'm not going uh, too many uh, for too many details in this right now maybe I could that looks okay would like to work on uh, I've got this uh, 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 the model into the one of my I don't know. So I, I, I want to be texturing.